Okay, well here we are again yes. <laughs> into our field studio, I guess. Uh, we are going to do a test on uh, breakthrough photography filters. There we go, breakthrough photography, to see how color neutral they are. Yep. Correct? And we're going to compare it with some of the other filters. I've got one here that I've got, uh, this I picked up at uh, Hunt's, and it's just a general. Um, That's a polarizer? Or yeah, no, 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 it's, it's a general a, ND. ND, it's a three stop uh, right. filter. And I've got a variable that we've picked up from Hunt's, and uh, we're going to take a picture with each one of these and then compare it in Photoshop to see how color neutral they are. Right. Now, the breakthrough photographies claim to be color pure, that they yep. don't really alter There won't the be any so shifting. We're gonna find so out. We're going to find out. Test here. The only downside is that Jim's gotta take pictures of me. Yeah, that's right. So, you're gonna have to so bear with that. to make it, uh, <laughs> we're gonna give Fred a gray card. Yes. To match the pallor of his skin here. <laughs> Makes me feel special. So first we're gonna do one that without any filters on it. Yeah. So if you go back there, okay. So I get to go back. I'll go over and I'm here. Backing up, backing up, backing up. And this hit looks mark. good. Make sure that you're focused. I feel like I should put a number on this. Yeah. You hold it right about there. That's good. That'll be our our color card. And he took multiple he took shots. Three was pictures. I to be moving. Uh, let's try that one more time because maybe this was stuck in uh, HDR mode. Which oh, it great. is. I'm, I've been HDR. You've been HDR. Okay, let's do one more. Okay. All right, non HDR. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll do the polarizer first. How's that? That's fine. There's been people that say I have a polarizing personality. Yes, bread can be very polarizing. So, as I said before, these come in really nice cases here with the cloth. They're very, very well made. I'm going to put an adapter ring on here so it'll fit onto my lens. We'll go here, mount this up. Okay, and then I'm going to give Fred the box that we... You can have the... No, you will oh, need the, oh, we, we need the gray, gray card. Still, yeah, right. we need the gray card. What am I doing? You're going to hold I both of those I'm up. being the talent. I'm you're, not thinking. You're being the talent. Hold the edge up, right? Because that... You, you want know. the edge out, this one? That's it. Oh, well, and why didn't you tell me you wanted the name? And you got the wrong side of the gray card. Oh, hey, let's do the white side. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to be able to... Can you read this? If you can, your eyes are great. Okay, and I'm going to check the polarization. You have wonderful eyesight. Okay, so this is the polarizer. Okay, that's the polarizer. That's the polarizer. All right, take the Is polarizer off. Is that how they make off. polar pops? What's that? With polarizers. What about them? How do they make polar pops? Polar pop? That's a burning question. I don't know. Actually, it's a frozen question. <laughs> You're confusing me. That's easy to do. <laughs> Poor Jim's trying to concentrate, and I'm back here wreaking havoc. Re yeah, Fred's good at wreaking <laughs> habit. <laughs> okay, next one is, this is a six-stop polarizer. The polarizer, six-stop ND. Fred, now you got me with, <laughs> with the polarizers. <laughs> My work is almost done. Okay. Our director shaking her head saying, no, it's never done, Fred. You're done, but your work's never done. Oh, well. Okay. This is six whole stops, so. Yeah, we're going to see you how this. You may have to hold very still on this one. Don't want me to blur. Do you want me to hold the box? Okay. <laughs> yeah, half a second, Fred. And half a second? Can you hold still for half a second? I can hold still for half a second. But I don't want to change the... Uh, Be very, very still. Very still. That wasn't too bad. Okay, well, we got you. Did I breathe? I think so. I mean, could I breathe? Could breathe. Let's see we can here. Okay. All right, so we got that one. All right. So, so now we're going to do 
That one takes of the others. care of the breakthrough photography yes. filters. So now, just as a point of comparison. Oh, I left my ring on there. I left the adapter on, didn't it? Or did it? Or did it? Maybe it's here. Well, I don't know. It's a mystery. It. Oh, no, it's here. <laughs> see, they fit it. It fits so nicely in with the uh, filter. I didn't even see it. Poor Jim. Okay. All right. Next one, I thought we would go ahead and do the uh, three stop. This is a P series, Koken style. And I don't have anything to hold up, Fred, so when this time we know that it's the this time three stop. We just have to uh, take, I guess Jim's gonna superimpose this one. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Poor Jim, as he gets older, it's harder for him to multitask. <laughs> He's right, gone to more. single tasking and some days he, he can only do half of that, so some days he's half tasked. Well, yeah, this could be dangerous, so do not try this at home. Okay, finally, we're going to do the variable ND. And I tend to find these things tend to have uh, quite a color shift on them, so. So I may actually look psychedelic. You might. Well, let's see. I'm just going to hold that one up there then. All right. And if you're old enough to know what psychedelic means, Oh, let's have you. So we know which one this is, Fred. Let's have you hold that up. That way, we, that was the oh, container. Oh, that tells everything. That that was a container. At least that we'll tells know which it all. One it is. Yeah. Okay. That was now what we're going to do is we're going to go bring these into Photoshop and we're going to check them out and see how color neutral that gray card is. Okay. Well, we've taken right. the images that we photographed outside. Yes. And I also didn't mention that we used uh, regular white balance. I mean, they didn't use auto white balance, no. so that wouldn't affect anything. And we brought them into Photoshop. We saved you the pain of watching me load these up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go check and see how color neutral they are. And the first one we're going to check here is the one we took without the filter. And if I take my color picker in here and I see you got an uh, uh, red, green, blue, 79, 86, 91. So it's got a little, kind of leads a little bit into the green spectrum, but uh, maybe that's reflection. It's going to say no doubt with all the green behind me. Yeah, but um, if you click it again, click it around in there, and it's, but it's, it's pretty color neutral. So we'll go to the next one here. got to close that out here we go all right we'll go to the next one here this is the one with the polarizer right yeah we click on that again here and see what we got well so we got it looks like it may have picked a little tiny bit up on the green spectrum but other than that it it Really is pretty color neutral. I'd say it hasn't shifted at all, and even the image looks. Uh, and interestingly enough, pretty much the same. It's not much different than the one without the filter at all. Yep. As far as picking up just a tiny bit of the green, right? Yep. All right. Let's go on to the next one here, which this is the. That's a polarizer. This is the one that I think it took a it? half a second. Yeah. So no, this is the uh, ND. Oh, that is the ND. With yeah, the, this how many is stops is that? Six stops. Six stops. Six stops. Now they have them. I think three, six, and ten stops. So it's a little darker so looking. So let's check. But there's that. no blur. I didn't move. That's a good thing. Well, it's pretty color neutral. Uh, what I'm seeing, of course, everything's a little darker. So, but uh, again, actually, this seems a little bit, a little bit more maybe on the blue side, just a tiny bit. But boy, it's so insignificant that um, okay so those are the two breakthrough filter photographies and I would have to say from what I'm seeing here see if looks you agree with me pretty close 
Again, the only caveats we'll say is that the first one was a tiny bit on the green side, and this one seems to be leaning just a tiny, we're talking tiny, tiny oh, bit yeah, it's, to it, the blue side. It'd be very, very, very and that's subtle. Really, it would be pixel peepers that would be going, see, see, oh, look at yeah. that, oh my gosh. Yep. But as far as color neutrality, now let's go cut, check a couple. Yeah, let's check we're some We're going of the other to ones do the first one here is the, um, uh, the Koken type filter. All right, the Koken filter. And let's see what it gives us. Well, actually, it looks like it's it looks like it's dropped a little bit of the red. Yeah, you know, the red has dropped a bit, but the other two are pretty close. I got so 80 and we did have the biggest there. thing on that is a noticeable drop in the red. Uh, just a little bit drop in the red, but not too bad. Uh, just a little bit. So the Koken did pretty well. Yeah, so the, that the Koken filter did, but it, there was a, a drop more so than we got from the um, All right. would you, and this was a three stop and, filter and of course and when you measure that you would say how much oh just a little bit in the red it looked like it dropped maybe 10 on the uh, the red channel okay so finally and I tend to find that these variable ND filters do tend to have a uh, and that one just looking at it, it oh just like look at it yeah, it looks like it almost has a, a strong green cast strong to it. green cast and absolutely it does the green is way up off the spectrum up. I look a little green around the gills oh yes that one definitely has a uh, leaning to the green and I only put so, this up there maybe about halfway I mean as we would crank that variable ND up even higher right. So the problem with this is you says, wow, we could go ahead and correct that in uh, Photoshop, but not necessarily because it may not be even against all of the channels in it. It's still It becomes a challenge a and you're spending a lot of time in yeah. post-production with it. So it, it may, yeah. look, if you've got a variable ND filter and you're happy with it, great. The, what we're looking at here is, are there contrasts? Are there similarities? In this case, we see a marked difference in the variable ND over anything else that and we've tested today. This last one, it is interesting now, the red and blue channel are almost identical. They were very, very close within one or two of each other. And what we're using but on this one? The green is over 10 up on the right. green channel. Oh, you're still looking at the variable ND. I'm looking at the variable ND, yeah. So, so. yeah, I'm. Uh, so there are some differences. They're subtle, uh, but. It makes the biggest point we're trying to make here, folks, is that if you've got to go in in post production, it can be difficult to try to correct for those color shifts, um, and that makes it tough. And that just makes longer time that you're sitting doing post production instead of out back behind the shutter again, back yeah. behind the lens. Yes, and uh, color neutrality is a good thing with you're using filter unless you're using a filter that's purposely altering the right, colors. Right, right, <laughs> of course. But and these. Uh, a neutral density filter should be neutral. Right. And uh, I would say the breakthrough photography definitely is uh, very, very close to neutral. So I guess we give a, a thumbs so there you up have it. to the breakthrough photography. We'll put their link up here and um, you can go out and check out their filters. And we'll go back to the studio now, right? That's right. Okay.